Welcome to my channel. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share this video with your family and friends. Welcome, everyone. Today, we are diving into the fascinating world of paradoxes. So, what exactly is a paradox? In simple terms, it's a statement or a concept that despite sounding interesting, leads to a conclusion that seems logically unacceptable or self-contradictory. Paradoxes are more than just brain teasers. They challenge our understanding of concepts like time, space, and logic, offering deep insights into the mysteries of life. Get ready as we explore some of the most powerful paradoxes of life. Each one a journey into the profound and often puzzling aspects of our, our existence. First, let's look at the paradox of the ship of Theseus. Imagine a famous ship that is maintained by replacing its worn out parts. Eventually, every part gets replaced. Is it still the same ship? What if the removed parts are used to build another ship? Which one is the real ship of Theseus? This paradox challenges our understanding of identity and change, questioning if something remains fundamentally the same when all its components have been replaced. Next, let's look at the paradox of the arrow. Picture an arrow in flight. Zeno argued that at any single instant, the arrow is not moving. Why? Because an instant, a moment in time, has no duration. If it occupies a space equal to its size, it's motionless at that instant. So, is motion an illusion? This paradox delves into the perplexing nature of time, space, and our perception of motion, challenging how we understand movement and continuity. The barber paradox is a classic brain teaser. Imagine a barber who shaves all and only those who do not shave themselves. The question then arises, does the barber shave himself? If he does, according to the rule, he must not shave himself. But if he doesn't, then he falls into the category of people he must shave. It's a delightful tangle of logic that challenges our understanding of self-reference and exposes the limits of binary logic. Now let's look at the crocodile paradox. In this ancient dilemma, a crocodile snatches a child and promises the parent that it will return the child if the parent correctly predicts what the crocodile will do. Here's the catch. If the parent says the crocodile will return the child, and it does, the prediction is correct. But if the parent predicts the co crocodile won't return the child, then should the crocodile do? This paradox challenges our notions of prediction, consequence, and logical loops in promises. Now let's look at one of the most basic paradox, the liar paradox. Consider the statement. This statement is false. If the statement is true, then what it says must hold. Thus, it must be false. However, if it is false, then it actually is telling the truth. This loop creates a paradox that undermines our conventional notions of truth and falsehood, posing a significant challenge to logicians and philosophers alike. Omnipotence paradox is a classic conundrum in philosophy and theology. Consider this. Can an omnipotent being create a rock so heavy that it cannot lift it? If it can create such a rock, then there is something it cannot do, lift the rock. Hence, it's not omnipotent. If it can't create the rock, again, it's not omnipotent. This paradox challenges the very notion of unlimited power, 
questioning the logical coherence of omnipotence in the realm of philosophical and theological debate. Let's look at the paradox of the court. Imagine a student who agrees to pay for lessons only if he wins a lawsuit. The teacher sues for payment after the lessons, leading to a paradox. If the teacher wins, the student must pay. But by winning, the student has not won a lawsuit and hence, by the agreement, does not have to pay. Now, if the teacher loses, then the student has won a lawsuit and must pay. This paradox highlights the complexities and potential contradictions in legal agreements and the nature of contractual obligations. Now let's talk about the Sorites paradox, also known as the paradox of the heap. Consider a heap of sand. If you remove a single grain, it still remains a heap. Keep moving grains one by one. At what point does it stop being a heap? This paradox tackles the problem of vagueness and the paradoxical nature of terms without clear boundaries. It questions our understanding of categories and when a quantitative change leads to a qualitative shift. The paradox of choice. This paradox suggests that while we value choice and freedom, an abundance of choices can lead to decision paralysis and decreased satisfaction. The more options we have, the more we fear making the wrong choice, leading to stress and regret. This paradox challenges the commonly held belief that most options are always better. More options are always better, highlighting the psychological impact of choice overload. Now this one is my favorite, the unexpected hanging paradox. A prisoner is sentenced to be hanged at noon on one weekday in the following week. But the exact day will be a surprise. The prisoner reasons he can't be hanged on Friday because by Thursday night it would be the only day left and wouldn't be a surprise. Similarly, he excludes each preceding day for the same reason. But then when the execution happens on an excluded day, it's a surprise, creating a paradox. This puzzle challenges our understanding of knowledge, prediction, and the nature of surprise. This one comes from the realms of physics, the twin paradox. In this thought experiment, one twin travels into space at a high speed while the other stays on Earth. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, time moves slower for the traveling twin. So upon returning, they are younger than their earthbound sibling. This paradox challenges our understanding of time, space, and the effects of velocity on aging, illustrating the non-intuitive nature of realistic and relativistic physics. The next one comes from economics. It's called the paradox of thrift. It proposes that while saving money seems beneficial for an individual, if everyone saves more and spends less, it leads to decreased overall demand, resulting in reduced economic growth and potentially less saving for the community. This paradox highlights a contradiction in economic behavior where what's good for an individual can be harmful if adopted by everyone. The Raven Paradox. It's a puzzle in the philosophy of science. The paradox arises from the seemingly logical statement, all ravens are back. By standard logic, this implies that observing a non-black object that is not a raven supports the hypothesis that all ravens are black. For example, seeing a red apple supports the hypothesis, which seems counterintuitive. This paradox questions the basic principles of how we gather evidence and validate scientific hypotheses. The Fermi paradox is named after physicist Enrico Fermi, who pondered 
why, given the vastness of the universe and the high probability of extraterrestrial intelligent life, we haven't yet encountered any clear evidence of it. The paradox lies in this contradiction. The likelihood of such life seems high, yet the silence from the cosmos is deafening. This paradox fuels debates in astronomy and astrobiology, challenging our understanding of life in the universe and our place within it. Continuing our exploration, let's look at the persuasion fair paradox. This paradox emerges from the observation that the more aggressive we try to persuade someone, the more resistant they become to our message. It's a counterintuitive phenomena where our efforts to convince can lead to the exact opposite effect. This paradox invites us to rethink our approaches to communication and influence, suggesting that subtlety and indirect methods might be more effective than direct persuasion. Now, the effort paradox. This paradox lies in the observation that achieving a level of performance that appears effortless often requires a tremendous amount of effort. Whether it's in the arts, sports, or any skilled activity, what looks natural and easy to an observer is usually the result of extensive practice and hard work. This paradox challenges our perception of talent and ease, revealing the hidden dedication behind seemingly natural abilities. The wisdom paradox, famously encapsulated by Herbert Einstein's quote, the more I learn, the more I realize how much I don't know. This paradox lies in the realization that with every piece of knowledge gained, one becomes aware more of the vast areas of ignorance that remain. It's a humbling acknowledgement that no matter how much we know, there is always more to learn. This paradox challenges the notion that accumulating knowledge simply increases wisdom. Instead, it deepens our understanding of the complexities and unknowns of the world. The next paradox, the news paradox, is influenced by Nassim Taleb's concept of the noise bottleneck. This paradox presents the idea that the more news one consumes, the less well-informed one may become. In an age of information overload, distinguishing valuable information from mere noise becomes increasingly difficult. Taleb suggests that excessive news consumption can cloud our understanding rather than clarifying it, leading to misinformation and a skewed perception of reality. This paradox challenges the common belief that more information inherently leads to better knowledge and urges a more selective and thoughtful approach to consuming news. The next one is inspired by the Greek myth of Icarus. It's called the Icarus Paradox. Icarus, who flew too close to the sun with wings of wax, represents the idea that the very qualities that lead to success can also lead to downfall. In business and personal endeavors, this paradox manifests when overconfidence from past successes leads to risky behavior, ultimately resulting in failure. The Icarus paradox reminds us of the dangers of hubris and the importance of balancing ambition with caution. The next paradox addresses the irony of the digital age. It's called the connectedness paradox. The more connected we are through technology, the less connected we often feel. While social media and digital communication tools promise greater connectivity, they can lead to a sense of isolation and superficial relationships. The paradox suggests that real, meaningful connections are fostered through direct, face-to-face -face interactions. It's a reminder to occasionally put down our phones and engage with others in a more personal and meaningful way. 
the Talib surgeon paradox is derived from Nassim Nicholas Talib's book, Anti-Fragile. Talib proposes a scenario. If given a choice, most people would prefer a surgeon who looks like a butcher rather than the one who looks like a movie star, implying that we associate a rough appearance with experience and hard work and a polished appearance with a lack of substance. This paradox challenges our assumptions about professionalism and expertise, suggesting that appearances can be deceiving and that true skill and experience may not always come in the most polished package. And everyone has heard about the next and the final paradox we are going to explore. It's called the constant change paradox. This paradox lies in the fact that the only constant in life is change itself. We often seek stability and permanence in various aspects of our lives, from relationships to careers. Yet, the nature of existence is inherently changeable and transient. This paradox challenges our need for security and predictability in an ever-changing world, reminding us that adaptation and flexibility are key to navigating life's constant flux. We looked at a number of paradoxes today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video with your family and friends.